Hey, what's up guys? This is Shining Polaris. So I'm going to, I have here a very unique video. This is not my usual video, but I want to, you know, just put this out there. This is kind of a personal issue. Um, I just want to put it out there. Uh, maybe someone that has been a victim like me in this case, maybe can tell me what's the best way to do or just, you know, I'm just going to share, share my story um, for just, you know, to maybe inform people in the future, like beware of this kind of scam. So, uh, as you guys know, um, you know, I, I sell, I sell some stuff on eBay to, you know, support, to support my convention habits and my collection here and there. So, uh, very recently I went on eBay to sell my, uh, my, my used cell phone. So I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 3 that I went on eBay and to sell. Now, the last stuff I sell on eBay is, uh, like, high-end items. I have sold a couple cell phones before, that's not, but I sell mostly high-end purses and clothing on, on eBay. Um, uh, okay, so just in case you're, you want to know, you go and look at it. It's, I'm not a seeker or anything. Item number is 271-673-800-543. That's the item number for my, uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 3 for T-Mobile that I sold on eBay. Uh, so I sold I sold this phone on November 24th to a uh, a guy. His name is uh, Louis S. Um, and and I do have his last name, but his name is Louis S. And his eBay ID is Super Savings. Um, so Super S A V I N G Z. That's all one word on um, on eBay on November 21st. Uh, and I sold that, again, no secret, I sold that phone for $350. Now, uh, I, I'm a very, I'm a pretty good seller. I ship my stuff right away. I knew something was wrong when the moment he bought it, he asked me, did you ship it out yet? Oh, okay. Well, one time, that's fine. He emailed me the next day, did you ship it out yet? And I said, I will ship it out. You know, don't worry, it'll be shipped out. When I shipped it out, he asked me, "Get where is it? Where, where, where's the tracking number?" Usually, when when buyers are very anxious, uh, to me, uh, with you know, especially my experience, when buyers are very anxious to for what to see when your item ships, something's wrong. So immediately, I was like, "Oh man, like uh, something's not not right here." But you know, I have to, I have to ship all my items out because how you know how did you know, right? So anyway, uh, so I shipped, I shipped my item out to him and, uh, and by the way, he is, uh, Louis S. He lives in El Cal, Cal John, El Calgon, California. Um, and, uh, so he got it, right? He got it maybe in three or four days and he emailed me right away saying that, uh, you know, he, that the phone is financed and blocked and he can't use it. So he wants to return it. I told him that's impossible because I personally use the phone. I pay my phone off. It's not blocked. And he's like, well, I want to return it. I'm like, no, you're, you're trying to scam me. I, I called him out. I said, you are trying to scam me. This is, you know, not, not going to happen. And he's, so he filed, he filed an eBay complaint against me. Now, if, if you know about eBay, it has gone downhill since like 2000. Basically, buyers have the absolute say on everything. They want to return it automatically win their case no matter what so he filed a, a case against me and the what made me so mad is he didn't even put his case he even he didn't even write what's wrong with the phone he just filed it with no, no comment and he won like that so ebay says he will give him he will give him his refund if he returned the phone back to me and i even emailed him and i said if you uh if you send me a broken phone I'm going to report you. I'm going to report you to state attorney, postal inspector, his his local police off, uh, office, whatever. He was like, "No, no, no. You're I'm going to give you your phone back. Oh, your phone is your phone doesn't work." So, I I don't know what took took so long. The package took 3 weeks to get to me. I actually got it right before Christmas. I got it on December 23rd, and I videotaped myself um opening it up and um yeah, to my surprise, huh, not really. This is what I got. Uh, oh, let me just say before. So here's the box, okay? Before I, I show you what I got, he actually sent it back from a different address. So, uh, yeah, so he used two different addresses. I don't know. But he sent it back from a different address. So what I got was this box, okay? And, and it's weird because he sent it in a priority box, but he shipped it through UPS. So what did Lewis uh, gave me here? 
This is what he gave me. A broken iPhone. <laughs> I mean, can you believe this? I, I go on the seller forum sometimes on eBay and I read all the terrible scams people do. This is the, this is the worst scam I have ever been to in my life on eBay. And I've been on eBay for many years. This is the worst. Okay. And the most expensive that I ever, I ever have. Look at this. This is a broken iPhone he gave me. He did not ship me back the Samsung Galaxy Note. He just gave me a pieces of, uh, of I don't know what this is, a pieces of whatever. It's not, 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 even, not even a full phone, even if I put this back. Huh? Like, 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 what is this? This is a magnet. Look like a, in, in battery. And then two, two screens, <laughs> a black and a... And a a white broken screen and then a case. So that's that's what this that's what this kid sent me. So immediately I I called eBay and and said okay because they have a on the bottom of the resolution center um it says that you can you can appeal you can appeal the case. So I called so I called uh, eBay and I said okay well um this guy he won his case and he sent me back a, a broken piece of a cell phone. There's not even anything anything here. Well well how how can I get my money back since he obviously scammed me. Uh, no kidding. The eBay representative actually hung up on me, <laughs> and but before he did, he said, "I'm sorry to um, I'm sorry to tell you, but on eBay we don't really have a system in place to protect sellers." That's exactly what he said. So he's basically admitting that eBay only only supports buyers, which is something I already knew, but not to this extent. So he and I, you know, and I argued with him, and he kept saying, "There's nothing I could do. I'm sorry. Uh, we can't we can't give you uh, your money back." And he hung up on me. So, fantastic, right? So, I went and I just I just did what I could do. Now, you know what? I'm going to have to take it as a loss, but at least at least hopefully the police, El El Kajan, Cal John, whatever that city's called, will have at least a report on the, on this kid because I have his address, I have his phone number, I have his real name. So, and, oh, and just in case you're wondering, did he use a fake name? Um, of course, what do you think I did? I googled his name up and his email address. He's actually some, uh, you know, what is it? Some weak, some weak, broke, uh, I think 23-year-old stoner that's on SoundCloud. By the way, if you want to check him out on SoundCloud, soundcloud.com, Chewy Blah, that's his name. His name is Chewy Blah or Chewy619. <laughs> and um, he did have a Facebook page. I looked at it a couple days later. Bam, Facebook page um, deleted. But it's it's also under it's under the Chewy Blah name, so you you can check it out. And it is him because if you look on other uh, websites, he he uses the same e email address. So he's that that's his that's his real name. So anyway, so I reported him. I reported him on on um those those you know type of media outlets. Again, I I'm gonna have to take it at a loss. It is it's terrible. I lost. I probably lost about four hundred dollars because it's um three fifty for the phone. And then shipping it cost me about fifteen dollars, and then PayPal fee and eBay fee took take more than that. So basically, I just lost. I lost everything by by selling this phone. So the point is, I guess if I'm going to sell a phone, do it on Craigslist, see the person face to face, um, and, and never and never do this again. I, I want you to look at this. This is I can't believe this happened to me. Like this is this is so frustrating right now that this has happened to me and I've been selling on eBay and I've never been into a scam this this bad in my life and I read scams like this and I was like it's never going to happen to me and it did and eBay allowed it. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys eBay eBay sellers out there that know how to get your money back um let me know. I mean otherwise I know I have to take it as a loss. And I know some of you probably watch this and be like, well, you're stupid. You sold this on eBay. Well, like I said, I sell a lot of high-end stuff on there. Uh, and I never really got scammed ever. I mean, you know, like people are pretty honest. Maybe maybe purse buyers are different than cell phone buyers. Maybe that's that's the thing. I don't know. So there there you have it. You got, you got, uh, I, I, I learned my lesson. This is the first, the biggest scam I've ever did. I mean, all it, when I've been, I've been scammed by, before by buyers. Over forty dollars, fifty dollars. Okay, I can live with that. But this is almost four hundred dollars right here, and and it's gone. And this kid, Lewis in El Cagan, California, using my cell phone, walking around, probably selling that cell phone. I don't know what he does. Oh yeah, by the way, if you look at his um, eBay address, which I know he'll never be on there again, is Super Savings, uh, one word with a Z instead of an S at the end. Um, he been selling uh, people bad cell phones too. So. With all that evidence, eBay don't even care, and they just like, here you go, <laughs> here's your money back. So, 
All right, I know. This is this is a different video than I usually do. Um, you know, uh, subscribers and my viewers, but just you know, I I figured I post this I post this online because you can kind of see that yeah, I'm 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 a real person here with with real everyday problems, and this one this one's oh my god, this one this one's bad. This one takes the cake for for uh, scams, the scams of all time. So, but uh, I hope you ha you guys had a really good holiday. Um, you know, New Year's coming up. Hopefully, you get a great New Year's. Uh, I'm probably just. I mean, I'm angry, but you know what? It's the holidays. Let it go. I I already filed all my reports, so hopefully, you know, somebody else will do it again to him, and he'll just be arrested. That's all. That's you know. That's all. Just all we can hope for, right? So, all right, guys, thank you so much for, for watching and just listening to me rant. Like I said, it's a really different video. I figured I just, you know, I have it on for you so you guys can, can see what's going on. Because this is good times, right? Good times being scammed in America. So, all right, thank you so much. See ya later.